For today's video, I'm going to show you all the food at Legoland. But please be aware that during the week, most places are closed. I will share which ones are open if that we've experienced. And then during the weekend, they have a few more options. So it really just depends. Now, when you first walk in, there is a new cafe uh, that just opened. So that would be your first stop just for coffee or a quick snack in one of their cases. And then next to it is the pizza place. So I'm going to show both. They have a decent selection of bagels, uh, cinnamon rolls, some fruit, yogurt. I would say the best thing that we had was the chocolate cake. We tried it for the first time during Legoland's birthday, 10th birthday, and it was delicious. The kids just ate it within like two minutes. The coffee is good, but it is really sweet, so it depends on your taste. I'm sure they could do just a regular one too. And this is the menu for the coffee. It looks like most of the drinks are around four to five dollars. Right next to the cafe is the pizza shop I had said in the front of the park and honestly maybe we had a bad batch or maybe they were limited on ingredients but it wasn't the best. The pizzas are more of a personal pan, it's a good size for someone, uh, $8.25 each but it just tasted like a standard frozen pizza that you could get from Walmart. Again, maybe we got a bad batch, but there are better places to eat at Legoland. My favorite spot for a good treat would be the apple fries that are right past the pizza place, right next to the big carousel. You really can't go wrong with their apple fries. I see them making it in the window so everything is fresh and the caramel sauce is delicious and I love it with the ice cream. They do offer special things for events and things like that during the weekend. Uh, we tried a birthday cupcake and we also tried a Halloween uh, pumpkin ice cream apple fry. So everything we've had here is really good. Lego Movie World, they have some food uh, options, but we have not seen them open. They're probably open on the weekends and during the uh, events. They have a taco place over here, a taco every day. So one of these days when we eat there, we'll do a quick vlog about it. I found their menu online, but it looks like a fun place to eat. They have a crab salad taco, brisket, and chicken tacos. The sopapilla bites look delicious too, so if we ever see this place open, we'll definitely stop by. Alright, so Dragon's Den is another place to eat. Um, there is, it looks like a hot dog, there's different hot dogs and like a turkey leg and some mini dogs with some french fries. So that's right next to the Dragon. Also at Dragon's Den, which is in the Kingdoms area, we've tried a couple of different Halloween treats, so sometimes during the weekend events, they'll have special treats throughout the park. And also in the Kingdoms area is this ice cream shop, which is right next to an outdoor play area. We've only had a special Christmas, uh, like a cold chocolate milkshake type of drink, which was really good. We just haven't had the regular ice cream there yet. The Ultimate Sandwich Builder is like a food truck. It's located inside Land of Adventure, which is across from Costasaurus and the little safari ride. We've gotten the brisket sandwich and the mac and cheese sandwich a couple of times. The kids love the mac and cheese and we personally love the brisket. They also have like a bowl of brisket, mac and cheese, and some of the fried onions on top. Um, so most of the time this is a pretty good spot, especially if your kids love mac and cheese. You can't really go wrong. And then for Ninjago days, they've had special foods like the, it was like a wonton nacho and Rice Krispie Sushi. This is the Ninjago food truck. It usually has stuff for the festivals and I think it's open during the weekends. They have different soba noodles, things like that, just different kinds of Asian food. It is pretty good when we've had it, but it does take a long time. When they're open, they typically have egg rolls, spring rolls, pot stickers, bowel buns, and some dessert. So we tried a few things from the Ninjago weekends. This was like a ramen with the chicken. It was kind of spicy, but th these were deep fried uh, donuts basically. Those were delicious. 
Now one of the spots to eat is the burger place. I'll show when we ate here before for the Ninjago weekend. It smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. So that's another option to eat at. We're gonna show the chicken place as well. The burger and the chicken place are both in the Lego City area and those are the ones that are open every time we've been. My husband tried the fish and chips, which he thought were decent, but we preferred the burgers over the fish and chips. That was the Ninjago burger. It had mushrooms and a special sauce. And then we also tried the barbecue burger with uh, the onions on it. That was pretty good. Between the burger and the chicken spot, there is this imagination pavilion in Lego City. It has a panini place, but we've only seen it open one time. Also in the Lego City area, right before the chicken place, is the Firehouse Ice Cream, which has Briar's Ice Cream. So they have single scoops, I think it's Briar's Ice Cream, they got sundaes and the toppings. Yep. And floats and ices. Mint ice cream with M&M's and sprinkles. I got a root beer float as well. Chocolate ice cream, chocolate Oreo pieces, chocolate fudge, whipped cream and cherry. <laughs> We've gone quite a few times. The single Sunday is around five dollars, double is around six fifty. So you might as well get a double for the money. But it's really fun to have different combinations each time. And right next to the ice cream shop is the kick and chicken we're gonna review. It's our first time eating the chicken. But we've had the gator bites before, which were really good. This is another fried food area. Chicken sandwiches, cheeseburger still, chicken uncrustables, mac and cheese bites. They got salads, pickle chips, mac and cheese bites, fries. The burgers here are typically around 10 to $12. They do have a family sharing bucket that's a little over $30. If everyone wants chicken, that's probably the best value. All right, so we got the fried pickles. There, they were out of mac and cheese bites. And the fries with the chicken for a piece. And then there is the burger. It's probably similar to the burgers at Burger Kitchen. Looks good. Yeah, pickles are good. They're nice and crisp um, and fresh. Unfortunately, they didn't have the mac and cheese bites. I would love to try those. Right. Chef Rick, how is the burger? I mean, it's good. I mean, it's Dinner fresh. Mm -hmm. It tastes like, you know, normal, like, Cafe style burger. Okay. It's good though. How's your french fries? So good. Your french fries are really, really good. They're seasoned. They're nice and seasoned. Yeah. You want you want some honey mustard? They got honey mustard, ranch, barbecue, and a spicy, spicy sauce. Yeah. You know. You gotta try your burger too, pumpkin. I did. Oh, how, okay. is, the, how is the burger? Pickle chips and ranch are the best. Yeah, Classic. I think so. Classic? It's still good though. Okay. It's just like a standard burger, I'm sure. Okay, I'll try. One of our favorite dessert spots besides the apple fries at the front of the park is this funnel cake like food truck that's basically in the Technic area. It's by the VR coaster, but they range from seven to ten dollars and they are huge. We've tried quite a few. We got this cookies and cream one. They are pretty massive. And then also for the festival, sometimes they have special ones. They had a pirate themed one that had little fish on top. And we've also had the one with the cheesecake and you can choose a fruit. Every time we've gone, it's been really good. The last two stops for food would be the all you can eat pizza and pasta and the Heart Lake City ice cream. Both aren't open all the time. It's mainly just like a weekend thing or an event thing. Now the pizza and pasta all you can eat is $19 an adult and $13 per kid. We're gonna come back and definitely do that one for sure. The ice cream we had here was really good. Um, we had it for the Friends weekend. So we'll be back too to show more events. So stay tuned, let us know if you have any questions about Legoland. This last ice cream parlor is in Heart Lake City in the Fun Town area. It's right past where you enter the park. It's right past that carousel. They use Briar's ice cream just like the Firehouse ice cream we showed you earlier. Uh, but the Firehouse ice cream shop is always open when we've been there. This ice cream parlor hasn't been open every time. We tried a couple of treats during the Lego Friends weekends. I'll put our playlist down below. The ice cream was really good. 
biggest issue I have with Legoland is that everything is not always open, so just be prepared for that. You can always bring your own snacks. Sometimes we bring a small cooler bag and bring drinks, snacks, chicken wings, sandwiches. What seems to be like the guaranteed things open are basically in Lego City. So that would be the burger place, the chicken, and uh, the firehouse ice cream. And then of course in the front, the apple fries spot has always been open too. The best place in our opinion is actually inside the Legoland Hotel, which is called Shipwreck. That is the best food on property. I'll link our Legoland Hotel video in the description. We go over all the food options there, uh, but honestly, Shipwreck has the best food. The park is okay. If you have any other questions, comment down below or message us on Instagram. Stay up and hit subscribe for May 1st for a channel some Skype! Thank you, let's go!